if you want the absolute best natural remedy for ADD slash ADHD, stay tuned. This data is from Dr. William Kaufman, MD, PhD. I'll put his link down below. There is a very simple vitamin deficiency involved in this condition. But you cannot fix this condition by taking the normal amounts of this vitamin. You have to take higher amounts. There's two main versions of this vitamin. You have niacin and niacinamide. The one that you're going to need for this condition is niacinamide. You know, one of the big challenges with uh, using vitamin therapy is that um, the research is usually using low doses of vitamins, which are basically worthless. And the other problem is that just the medical community is unaware of this. Not to mention the bad PR in vitamins, you know, they're dangerous, they kill people, which is absolutely not true. And also like one third of 125 medical schools give you an elective credits for nutrition. Like Cornell is like, you get eight hours of nutritional information, eight hours. So check this out, vitamin B3, what it can do for your brain. First of all, it's the precursor, it's the building block for a very important thing in your cells that helps you extract energy from food. It's called NAD. And so when you eat, whether it's protein, fats, or carbohydrates, this molecule helps to take these electrons from that food and put it into a battery called ATP. So if you don't have that, then your cells can't get energy. And so Dr. Kaufman talks about this research with animals called increased running when you take B3, or what they call hyperkinesis, which is hyperactivity. Could that affect your ability to hold your concentration on one thing without going into another? The answer is yes. You know, you start one project, and then you're off to the next project without even finishing this project right here. The actual power of a person is their ability to hold their attention on something that they're doing while they're doing it and not to do something else with their mind at the same time, which could be either dangerous or just non-efficient or non-productive. So vitamin B3 can greatly help your nerve cells uh, get energy so you can actually hold your attention on something and not be so restless or having to move every five seconds. So B3 can help the hyperactivity and the focus at the same time. There's a lot of people who have these conditions that um, they're so tired, but they can't go to sleep. It's terrible. So they overall have this like nervous wound up feeling. And I had this for many years and I didn't know what it was. When you become deficient in certain nutrients, the brain and nervous system get hyper excited and then they kind of burn out. But that's really what happens. So B3 is very, very important for the neuron to calm it down, to, to help it balance all the neurotransmitters. And on top of that, the most important thing is to give the neurons energy. The version of B3 that you need to take is niacinamide. Now, niacinamide is water-soluble, so it's not going to stay in the body for very long. So what you want to do is you want to take 250 milligrams six to eight times a day. And this can work great for children. And of course, I'm not telling you to come off your medication and uh, you know, check with your doctor with all that. I'm just giving you some fascinating research that you need to be aware of and implement if you want an alternative because there's very low toxicity or side effects, if any at all. The research on this has been ignored for 70 years, okay? So it's about time that we know about it and we spread the word. And I'm gonna put some more information about the doctor down below so you can study more about this, but it's actually quite fascinating. But I'm also gonna recommend that you get on the right diet for this as well. And uh, because just by taking this vitamin, it's just, it's not gonna be the cure-all, it's gonna help you while you're doing these other things as well. And for that information, you should watch this video right here.